Hello everyone. In this series, you are going to build a very powerful and interesting application. So I wouldn't talk much. Let us look at what we are going to build. This is what we are going to build. It is the most powerful and intelligent test editor you can currently find on YouTube. And why am I saying so? This is more than the ordinary test editor. It has test formatting abilities. It is equipped with intelligence. You can think of it like the Word version or a clone of the Word version of the Microsoft Office 365. And so let me take you through the things that it can do and then you will judge it for yourself. Up here you can see that I have my menus here, uh, file, all these things work so we can create a new file, open, save, save as. We can print preview. You can actually print from this application. When we connect to a printer, you can print it out and see the output. We can also export to PDF and of course, exit from the application. In the edit menu, we can copy, cut, paste, do all the edit stuff. We can also here change the font color and the font options for the whole or entire application. We can also change the background color, kind of the um, text highlighting. We can also insert the current date and time. And this is where it gets interesting. We have a chatbot embedded in the application. And then I'll open it when it is due. We can actually paraphrase and summarize. We can add a lot of things to these things to um, do to our test. And of course, we can give ourselves some credit also. And this is our toolbar having most of the things that have already been shown there. With the exception of, I think, um, this alignment, we can actually align the test, bold, italic, underline. We can change the font here automatically. All the fonts on our computer will show up in this box. We can select any fonts we want for our test. And then we can also increase the font size. And of course, undo, redo, and all the rest. So let me quickly, um, for now if I'm creating a new file, it has a lot of intelligent checks inside. So if I already have a letter in here and I want to create a new file, it will prompt me that to clear the current content, I say yes, it clears it. And then I can have some test I pasted in my clipboard. Let me bring them up. One is this Lorem Ipsum test. I can paste it in. So now if I want to save this file, I all I have to do is to come to this save. And then it will ask me where I want to save it. Let's see, let me get back. Um, it's somewhere inside here. Let me create a new folder called Editor Files. And then save it in here. Uh, this one I will say test. It's just a test file, so test.tst. And you see that the name up here changed to test.tst. Just all that is into spice things up. And then also, let us now see the things we can do on this test. I told you that we can select portion of the test. I select up to this point. Can make it bold. You can see it is bold. The same test, I can italicize it. I can also select some portion, underline it. Once it is selected, it is underlined. If I select it again, I click underline, it goes. This place too, I can. Move the formatting from there just by selecting it again. So it kind of reverses what has already been done. If I want to justify, this is already justified to the left. Can justify it to the center. You can see that it actually did it for the, for the line. I can also justify it to the right. It did it for where the Keza is currently. You can also do the justify, which will spread the test to the extreme ends so by now i want the left also i can actually select just a portion of this test also let's say i want to change it to oh not this font i did not want this font i want to change it to this one i think i like this one i even think my font sizes are too small you may not see it so let me just increase them here 
So as you can see, the increase also works. I can change just a small portion of the test. I can undo, redo, undo, redo. So all the actions can be treated that way. And I want to change this test again. Okay. Now I can also select just a particular portion of it and then change the test color. Maybe I want this shade of blue or this is not black. This is blue. And then you see that it will change. But that is not all. I can actually pick a screen color. So if I am looking for a specific color, maybe this green, I can pick it and then it will also change. I can also change the font options here. This one will change it for the whole system. So if I change it everything to maybe consolas. The whole test, um, the whole application's test will change. And then this one in particular can be used for highlighting. You can select it and then it will highlight the text for you. And this is all being done because the test editor has uh, test formatting abilities. And also we can export this whole thing to PDF and I can see text.pdf. Okay, I don't even need to add a PDF, it will save it as PDF. And you may think it has not saved it, but let me open my explorer and show you the file. This is the file, it's, it, you can see the test.pdf, the one we saved, and the txt. If I double click on this one to open it, you see that this is the directory up here, so I'm not lying to you, but the highlighting or the colors, they show the test styles, they all show because it's a formatted, it's a test editor capable of formatting tests. And also, there is the print. Of course, I can print the whole document. I'm not connected to any printer at the moment, but I can use these ones to print to PDF and all. So let me close that one. I can also show the print preview. And this window, this idea I can actually change, uh, make it large for you to see. This is the preview with our page numbers nicely at the bottom right. I can change the orientation from portrait to landscape and I can choose to make it facing pages, um, facing pages, one faces each other. I can also choose to I lay them side by side. Of course, this is just two pages. If there are four, you see them laid out nicely. Here, I can also do some page setup where I can change my paper size from A0 to A3, change my margins and then orientation also here. Now the paper size has changed. So if I'm okay with what is going on here, then I can now click the print, which will bring the box that I, the window that we saw previously that will help us print our document. But we are not printing it at the moment. I'm not even connected to a printer. Can use the print option to also print it to PDF, but why should I do that if I have export to PDF here? And this one also, it inserts the current date and time. This one inserts the current date at the Keza. And then this one inserts the current time. I'm actually recording this one somewhere around 3, 3 o'clock a.m. Yes. And then now to the most interesting part is where we have this, our AI chatbot. When I click on this icon or I come to the top here and click on this one, or there's also a lot of shortcuts. You can see the alternative view also. When I click on it, a sidebar opens and we have two test uh, places we can type. So it says, tell me something. What I'll do is first to delete everything that is in here. Um, change my this thing back to I think I will like the Times New Roman or let it be this one or Consolas. I think I like that one, but it shouldn't be too big. So, and then I'll just say, Tell me, uh, childhood story. Now, when I send it, all I have to do is to wait for some time because it will also depend on the speed of my network, and then boom. I didn't paste this thing here, it came from our AI chatbot. And it says my grandmother used to tell me this, blah, blah, blah. Can insert this one into the editor and then work with it straight away. If I think this test 
is um, actually very long. I, I want to shorten it. Or I want to also use a test from my clipboard to demonstrate that. So I have this one here. I copy it somewhere from the internet. I think this one is not being okay. And then 15. So let me say this test is too long. I want to summarize it. I can click on this one and also depend on the speed of my internet. It's summarized. The test has been summarized into that small piece. If I actually go undo, which works, I press the shortcut Control Z on Windows. I can also go and say paraphrase this test. All I need to do is to wait for some time, and you see that it changed. So we can actually, it is not limited to this only. Um, I can say write, um, pull, logi, letter. Or a late submission of report. Then I send. All I have to do is to wait for some time. But while I wait, let me clear this part because I will insert it when it comes. Oh, okay. Um, it it inserted it. Um, okay, I think it starts from the dear professor. But for now, let's just delete everything. Uh, it's the bug we'll fix when we are writing uh, it. So we can send it. And then we wait for it. And then it, it, it just gives us a suggestion that we can work with. So, yes, you can just use it. Whatever you want it to do, tell it here. It will give you the test. Put it here. Edit it any way you want. Print it out or save it to PDF. And send it to whoever you want to send it. And also, if you are closing the application and you have not saved your file, you've made changes but you've not saved it, it will actually prompt you to save it before closing. When I click yes, a, saving, um, a save window will pop up that I can save immediately after saving it will, it will close the application. When I click no, it will close the application without saving it, but now I'll click cancel. So, uh, I'm excited about this application. I know you are also excited. So if you are excited about it, just as I am, be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that anytime I post a video, you will be the first to get it. And so let us move into the next video where we will start building the user interface. I will see you in that video. Thank you.